Hey there, Flux here. Now, one of the issues that have existed for a while in the general kind of like software space is that if you want to do lip syncing like this, where you just do it live in real time, rather than having to painstakingly animate like every single like mouth movement, uh, you basically either use volume or there is a solution by Oculus slash Meta who have the solution that only works on specifically Windows and is entirely closed source. Like, there, there's no way for you to get access to the actual source code. Now, in Resonite, we ha use uh, Open Lip Sync as an option, which was made by a member of the Resonite community, QB. Now, the main difference between those two is that obviously they were trained differently, those models, but also, uh, on top of that, uh, Open Lip Sync is, as it states in the name, open source. And on top of that, it supports Linux. That's, that's one of the main issues with OVR uh, lip sync is that it, it, it doesn't, it, it's closed source and they don't provide you a Linux version. Now, to give you a side by side comparison, over here, I have the values actually going with both of them. Now, if you are thinking, like, okay, uh, these, these are values like moving around differently from each other, but like, which one's better? And the answer to that is uh, th they're both good tech, like basically. Personally, I think Open Lip Sync looks better. It's what I'm currently using right now. If I switch this over to OVR Lip Sync, you can see this is how it's moving now. It's 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 not much of like a visible difference, but uh, Open Lip Sync is a little bit less jumpy and therefore can you also, you know, like use less moving, for example, to get more of a responsive like I'm doing just now where I lower this moving. Now, personally, I still think it looks a lot better just to have a little bit more smoothing just because it makes the mouth movements look a bit nicer, but yeah. See ya.